Good morning. Uh, as, as Glenn said, I'm Steve Bullen. I'm the acting state geologist and the head of the California Geological Survey. And I want to focus today on the risk that uh, Californians uh, are exposed to in terms of earthquakes. It's been over 25 years since the last major damaging earthquake in California of any significance, Northridge, and over 30 years since the Loma Prieta quake in the Bay Area. We've been focused on fire and not on earthquakes, and people have a tendency to forget. And when you forget, you don't think it's going to be ever happen to you. My comments today are based on over 40 years of earthquake monitoring and research by the California Geological Survey, the US Geological Survey, and many, many others, including those in the earthquake engineering community. On the left is a map of all of the seismic instrumentation that is managed by the California Geological Survey. Uh, when you hear a USGS pronouncement of, of a earthquake of a certain size, that's really the CGS behind those, those, uh, those uh, uh, announcements because we are the largest uh, uh, network in the state that has given us a wealth of information about earthquakes, where they occur, how they occur, and how to, how to prepare for them. And you see pictures of all the different kinds of facilities in addition to the ground surface that we monitor. On the right is a 40-year compilation of earthquakes in California. So the bottom line here is if you live in anything that looks turquoise, green, yellow, or especially red, you are exposed to very high risk of earthquake shaking that is a threat to your life and your property. So here are some facts to consider that we have learned by experience and by research over the last 40 plus years. There are over 500 known active faults in California. In fact, on the left is the, um, is the model developed by a wide, wide range of partners, uh, Cal OES, CGS, and USGS, and others, uh, that documents all of the uh, active earthquake faults in the state. And again, if you live in anything that looks yellowish, orangish, reddish, or pink, um, you are at high risk for earthquake um, activity that is life-threatening or structure-threatening. We know from uh, very bad experiences, including Northridge, that there are hidden faults at depth that we do not recognize because they aren't active but could become active. Uh, the chance of you experiencing, as a resident of California, a magnitude greater than 6.7 in your lifetime is 99%. Now, California is a big state, and it may not happen to you, but it may. And uh, somewhere in this state, uh, there will be in your lifetime uh, a, a, an almost certainty of a, of a magnitude almost seven event. If you live in the Bay Area, there's a greater 30% chance of, of rupture by 2030. This will be a magnitude seven-ish event, and it will be very damaging. Bottom line, most California residents live within 30 miles of an active fault. So being prepared and doing what you need to do to protect your life and property is critical. And, I'll, and I will leave you with that one final thought. I like to say that how well you prepare equates to how well you will survive. That is just a simple fact. 